Pandora's Box A long, long time ago, when the world was very young, a handsome boy called Epimetheus and a beautiful girl named Pandora lived in perfect harmony. They spent their entire days laughing and dancing. Life was perfect and they knew no sadness. But one day, one of the gods above, a grumpy old sourpuss called Zeus, flew into a jealous rage. Why are they so happy when I am not? Angry and envious by turns, he stopped about the heavens until he had devised the most wicked of plans. But he needed help to carry it out. Hermes, attend me. I have a job for you. And so it was that on Earth, the god Hermes could be seen struggling towards the door of the young friend's house. He appeared at their door tired and exhausted. He explained that he was on his way to deliver a huge golden box. He begged a place to rest his tired bones and somewhere to leave his sacred cargo while he performed another errand. Pandora and Epimetheus were happy to help him. Come in, come in, set your box down and go as you please. As Hermes prepared to depart, he left the two young ones with a very stern warning. Whatever you do, you must not open the box. After a time, Epimetheus and Pandora heard their names being called. Epimetheus! Pandora! Epimetheus thought it was their friends calling them outside to join in their play. He urged his friend to come with him, but for some reason Pandora wanted to stay. Pandora watched Epimetheus head out into the gardens, and no sooner was he gone than Pandora heard her name being called once more. But now it no longer seemed to be coming from outside. It seemed to be coming from Hermes' strange and forbidden box. Pandora drew closer. She heard the voices again. Pandora! Pandora! She bent over to be sure, and this time she heard, Please help us, Pandora. We are locked inside this dreadful box. It is dark and we are afraid. Please, please help us to escape. So mournful were the voices that she thought she would go mad. They begged and pleaded, but Pandora could not forget Hermes' stern warning. Pandora turned away, trying to ignore the pleas, but there was such sorrow in the voices that finally she could stand it no longer. As if in a trance, she glided towards the box and wrestled with the golden chains around its girth. At last the ties fell to the floor and Pandora slowly, nervously lifted the lid. No sooner had she done so than she realized she'd made a grave mistake. From out of the box came tiny, sharp-toothed brown moths. They circled round the ceiling before swooping down on Pandora, stinging her skin. All her life, Pandora had only felt joy and happiness. Now, Pandora experienced new feelings of anger, pain and sorrow. She stared through the window at Epimetheus talking to another maiden, and for the first time ever she felt the stings of rage and jealousy. She looked up and saw herself in the mirror and felt shame and regret. The moths swarmed out of the window, stinging everyone they met. Pandora saw new feelings expressed on their faces too. She saw envy, suffering, bitterness and greed. Pandora slumped to the ground, not even bothering to fight off the stinging creatures. So heavy was her sadness at what she had done. She looked up to see Epimetheus in the doorway, and for the first time, he yelled in anger at Pandora. What have you done? And then a high voice broke through. Please, let me out. Don't be afraid. I can help. Pandora stared. After the tragedy she had already caused, what more harm could be done? And so Pandora went once more to Hermes' golden box and slowly lifted the lid. This time, a shaft of white light beamed forth and turned itself into a beautiful butterfly. It landed briefly on Pandora's shoulder, and she knew she had been touched by the light of hope. And in that touch, all the stinging wounds on Pandora's body were soothed and healed. It fluttered across to Epimetheus and did the same for him. Then it darted through the window and went forth to soothe and heal the wounds of the world. And so, in the opening of that box, Pandora's box, was the birth of pain and of hope forevermore.